So we've been given a table that gives information about heights, h metres, of trees in a wood. You see there's 7 between 0 and 2, 14 from 2 up to 4 and so on. We've got to put the information into a histogram. So we will need a frequency density um, to do this, and we'll remember that frequency density equals frequency divided by interval width, hopefully. If not, it's been worthwhile coming to the video to remind you. So 7 divided by the interval width, well, let's just put the interval widths in. We've got 2 here, 2, 4, 8, and 4. So 7 divided by 2 gives me a frequency density of 3.5. 14 divided by 2 gives me a frequency density of 7. 18 over 4 is 4.5. 24 over 8 is 3. And 10 over 4 is 2.5. So I need a scale that will take me all the way up to 7. So you can see I've put some marks onto the diagram already. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And going across, we need to go across to 20. So 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20 are marking on. So I'm only going to get this roughly right, uh, sketching with my finger, but you should see where all the numbers come from and roughly where I should have lined up. So my first interval is from 0 to 2, so 2 is going to be about there. It goes up to 3.5, which is about here. That's my first bar. Let's rub that section out there. Let's just try and get that straighter. But I'll change my colour as well so it's clearer to see. So from 3.5 and drop down to halfway between 0 and 4. That's my first bar. 14 um, divided by 2 is 7, so 7 and then down between 2 and 4. So like that and like that, that's not too bad. 18, uh, an interval of 4, so we're going to go from 4 to 8, and this is, looks like 4.3, but it was 4.5 here. I'll just say it's 4.5. So 4.5, come across to 8 and down. Then we have got between um, 8 and 16, and uh, between 8 and 16 is 3. So we go from 3 across to 16, okay, slightly higher, that's it. And then our last one from 16 to 20 at 2.5. Slightly out, just we'll try and improve that. Pick up the pen again, and that's roughly right, roughly right there. So that's a, a sketch of the histogram. Obviously you'll use a ruler and it will look a lot clearer on a big examination paper than it might do on here. But that's how you do your frequency density. You um, divide frequency by the interval width and plot accordingly as you've been shown in this video. That's the answer to 24.